Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? What's good? Welcome back. So I'm back here with another headband wig. As a lot of you know, I'm no stranger to headband wigs. I've been reviewing quite a few of them on my channel. Head over to my headband wig playlist after this because I have a slew of them in there for you to try at all different price points for all different budgets. So please go check it out after this video. I have Kinky Curly, Kinky Straight, Short Curly, a short Kinky Curly unit, I have some color, long hair, both human hair and synthetic wigs. So the price range is from anywhere from under $20 to $200. You feel me? It's all there, so check it out after this video. So for today, we have some hair from Julia Hair. So shout out to them for sponsoring this video. And this is the hair right here, okay? This is 26 inches, y'all. This is the longest headband wig I have tried thus far. It's in the water wave texture. Same cap construction as other headband wigs. You have, you have the headband with the Velcro strap here. You do have a comb here in the front and then a comb here in the back, but no adjustable strap. One thing I found with these headband wigs that are longer, if I do want to do some type of updo, one comb in the back is not sufficient. So I would advise you maybe using body pins or maybe sewing on an extra comb if you want to do up, updos with the headband wig. So we're just going to toss her on and see what she's looking like. So one thing that is awesome about the whole headband wig trend is that it's for everybody, y'all. If you don't have no edges or you have thinning edges or you deal with some hair loss of some sort, you can wear it right to the hairline. It'll still look cute. But I am going to push mine back just a tad bit. So really, my edges are barely showing right now. But if you're curious, I did use this She Is Bomb Edge Control on my edges. Help slick them back when I want that type of look. It's really bomb. Definitely check it out in my Amazon link down below if you're interested in buying. All right, so this is the hair straight out the pack y'all okay this is really pretty super pretty and oh my god super long look at it on me like when i back up this is definitely stretches past my waist like true 26 inches for real and your girl is only 5'3 so i'm on the shorter side so if you are taller it might hit you a little bit above your waist this is so pretty! Wow! Okay! Some of you might have seen me review a long curly unit maybe a few days to a week ago. And that unit is super pretty like this, but it's different in that this is more of a, let's say like, this is more like a type two going into a type three hair pattern. Whereas that other curly unit, as you can see here, definitely is like more of like a 3B, 3C, and it has a little bit of kink to it, just a little bit. This is actually my first time trying a water wave texture, and I've been wanting to for a while, so I'm happy I did it with Julia Hair. Okay, this is this is cute, y'all. The ease of headband wigs is just out of this world. Literally, come on now, that took me less than 10 seconds to put on, and I can just go out the door. By the time y'all see this video, I will be on vacation and probably taking this hair with me. <laughs> Because the way this is looking right now, this is vacation hair, okay? Put me by the pool and serve me up, hello! I'm feeling myself. You know, I love my short, curly, kinky, curly, kinky, curly units, but when I toss on some long hair, your girl starts acting a little different. <laughs> this hair makes me wanna act up, okay? I like this. This has no product in it. I have no water in it. This is just literally straight out of the box. Now, when I do add water to my units, I love using this spray bottle from Amazon. I love it because when you press it, the water comes out in longer spurts, so that is awesome. If you see me spraying it here, it just covers a lot more surface area on a wig. And I just wanna show you what the wig looks like wet. Look at that, this is what it looks like wet versus dry. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of the wet look, but I know some of you are. So, I wanted to show you. So I just wanted to come in with a quick voiceover and let you all know some of the pros. Definitely am feeling the length of this unit. These 26 inches are so bomb. I also love the curl pattern of the unit, both wet and dry, although I do prefer it dry. I would say the texture is more on the silky side in comparison to other wigs I've tried, but I still like it. The headband itself is also very comfortable. It's an average size cap, so I think it will work for most head sizes, definitely. The only con I could think of is the shedding. I definitely experienced more shedding on this unit compared to other headband wigs I've tried, so just be mindful of that. Also, if you'd like to keep this wet look, 
mask. I definitely recommend the Lotta Body Foaming Mousse. I got it from Amazon. Check out my links in the description box if you'd like to purchase. Also, quick shout out to all of y'all that have been shopping through my links. I definitely noticed a difference in my Amazon link, affiliate link. So I really appreciate it because all of that pours back into is that your hair. So thank you. So now I'm just going to try on a few of these headbands for y'all before we wrap up this video. This one right here is actually one of my favorites, this glitzy one. It just looks so chic. So yeah, I'll let that play and I'll be back for the outro. When I was taking off my little rubber band from this hair, I definitely pulled out a track. So, yeah. Wasn't expecting that. It's not gonna make it a huge deal, but it just makes me wonder if these wefts on this wig are that secure. But I just wanted to let y'all know. So I am back with this lovely unit from Julia Hair. I showed you all some styling options. I really am feeling this long braid I did and that's what I love about the 26 inches because you can achieve this long braid. Y'all saw that I put my bobos in my hair. <laughs> I'm on a little bobo kick or or clackles or knockers or ballies or whatever y'all call them, wherever you're from. I put it at the end of my hair as well, just cause I just feel like it looks cute. It makes me feel nostalgic. You know, it's a piece of my childhood, whatevs. I know I'm grown, but I like it. And I also switched out my earrings. I bought these from Hoop Mob and they are a black owned business. And I've been falling in love with their jewelry. Their earrings are so divine. I only have two pairs right now. And you probably saw the other pair in two of my other videos already. That diamond rhinestone one, oh my God. Gorgeous. So <laughs> I'm going to be promoting them a lot because I will be getting more jewelry from them. So definitely check them out. I will link these earrings down below. I believe they're called Africana Studies. Yes, that's what they're called. Now, as far as the price of this unit, this unit in particular costs $239. And I'm pretty sure I have a coupon code and I will link it down in the description box. However, this is for 26 inches, y'all. Their 22 inch wig is under $200. I believe it's like 160, 170 something for 22 inches. That does not happen often. Normally, anything over 20 inches on human hair is going to be over $200, period. And if you're talking about kinky curly hair or kinky coily, kinky straight, it's going to be well over $200 for this long length. So the fact that Julia Hair offers this option for a more affordable price compared to other companies, I'm here for that. So if you if you like long hair and if you want the length but don't want to spend too much coin, opt for Julia Hair. And if you like shorter hair, they start at $82, y'all. Come on now, $82, you can't beat that. Go ahead, get you a 14 inch and keep it pushing. Like stop playing, stop playing. I would love to try one of their other units in a shorter length. Like this is, I'm feeling this though. I'm feeling this style. Yes. <laughs> I cannot wait to be 
on vacation and wearing this hair. I actually just might wear her like this too. What do y'all think? Let me know down below. All right, y'all, that is all I have for you today. Thank y'all so much for joining me for this video. Make sure you check out my links down below to the headbands, to the bubbles, to the earrings, all of that. And please check out my headband wig playlist if you have not already. I'm telling you, I have so many wigs in there, lots of gems, and it just keeps building because I have more coming up. So please check it out. And if you want to see me in some more of my recent videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you so much for joining me. Julie here, shout out to you for sponsoring your girl and I will see the rest of y'all on the next video. Bye!